uh, welcome to session number two. Um, I have asked you to do your test and the results are now appearing on the screen. The, um, uh, if you are still out there and doing your test, please complete, carry on. Um, by now, we've got at least 18 of you uh, engaged properly with the test. But let's use the test as an opportunity to revise what we looked at in the first tutorial. All right. Remember, you have four tutorials. The first tutorial is um, what are OERs and what is Creative Commons licensing and why should you care? All right. The second way, which you're going to do this evening and tomorrow morning, is how do you find them? All right. So you'll, you'll look at that next. And then the next one is how do you create or adapt existing OERs? Uh, in the third tutorial and the fourth tutorial, we're going to look at how do you share your resources with others across the globe. All right. So that's that is the spread of uh, the four tutorials. Uh, we, uh, we mentioned also that the final assignment is to be able to upload an, uh, your own resource, which is linked to the MOPSI curriculum into the MOPSI OER database. So there's still that step as well. Um, but last night was very important. So hopefully you know your Creative Commons licenses now, because when you go search for them or adapt them, you need to know what those licenses mean. And it's not rocket science, although it is a bit fiddly. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, questions and what people were answering. So the first one here, identify which right the author has reserved when using the CC symbol. And it was the little man, it was the attribution. Do you remember this? All right. We can see then that the vast majority of you, 11 of you got that correct. All right. So correct answers, 58%. Um, and you can see a couple of you got uh, sidetracked by no... Uh, either not answering or non-commercial. Now, remember that for all Creative Commons licenses, all of them offer attribution. And it simply means that you haven't just given away your stuff. It's not public domain. It is still yours. You own the copyright. And therefore, people need to attribute, need to acknowledge that you are one of the, well, you are the originator of the resource. Then we asked you, which one uses this symbol, this funny equal sign, all right? And the answer uh, was that it is no derivatives, ND, users cannot change the resource, all right? So remember that when you looked at the tutorial last time, it meant that if someone gave it to you, they don't mind you using it uh, without asking for permission. You don't have to pay anything. You can hand it out to your students and to your colleagues, but you may not change it. You've got to leave it as it is. All right. Now, as a designer, this is a problem for me because quite often I want to translate it. I want to chop out the pieces that aren't in the curriculum, in my curriculum, and then add in bits which are in my curriculum. And that's not possible if it has ND. So keep that in mind. Very important. Um, six of you got it right and quite a lot of you got it wrong so please be very aware of that all right the, the equal sign means you have to leave it as it is the next one was uh, which statement best describes the sa share a like right and the nice thing here is most of you got that correct 12 of you said you must use the same license in your original uh uh, in your derivative, you must use the same license that was in the original. All right. So you more or less can't choose a new CC license. You've got to use the one that was already being used. All right. And then the fourth question was of all of these licenses here, which one is the most open? Now that might sound a bit odd because are they all open? And the answer is yes. They are all open licenses, but some of them are more open than others, less restrictions. All right. So the one with the least restrictions, which allows you to do the most with it, is the one called CC BY. It was an A. It was the first one, this guy here. And I'm very happy to see that a lot of you got that correct. Five is which licenses do not allow repurposing? By repurposing, we mean adaptations, all right? So if it has the symbol on, which ones, I can't get in, uh, which ones um, don't allow you to adapt them, okay? And the answer was E and F. You can't see so clearly in the picture, 
but it has, can I not get in closer? No, sorry, it's uh, the N, uh, the correct answer, ENF. So it was these two. And the reason why is because they have um, ND. You can just see it sticking out there, that one. And this one also does. So the last two, E and F, said no derivatives. You may not repurpose. You may not adapt. You may not uh, um, fix them so that they work for your context. All right. Um, not uh, Quite a lot of you got that one wrong. So be very careful then that uh, it's E and F. It's an ND, no derivatives. Number six, which licenses prohibit use in fully copyrighted works? And again, the, it's good to see that um, these guys here got it right, but there was a spread across the whole list here, right? If it, uh, keep in mind that fully copyrighted works are the little C in the circle, okay? All rights reserved, um, uh, full copyright. And you may do nothing with those items without asking for permission. Can, if you are creating a textbook, for example, which is going to be published, it will probably have the, the little C in the circle in it. So the question basically is saying, which open resources may you not now incorporate into a fully copyrighted work like a textbook? And the answer was B and D, all right? Uh, and here we're looking at these SA signs. Okay, so it's that one, shame, and you can't really see, but it's that one and that one. And basically, um, we're saying share alike. If it's share alike, you've got to leave it with the same license. You can't now move it and use a different license. So, um, yeah, that was a bit difficult, that one. I can't see clearly on this one, but some universities are releasing their own material now uh, with an open license. You can take the whole course and you can adapt it for various uh, different contexts. So you could use it for a Zimbabwe university if you wanted. The licenses they go for are uh, by, uh, by NCND. You can't, damn, you can't see it on me. All right. Let me, um, so the, uh, which or what can you do? You can use without asking for permission is correct. But there was also another correct answer. You are allowed to adapt for your classes and students. So 14 of you were correct. And then there was only a smattering of people who chose options which were not correct. Eight, true or false? When you create a piece of work, it is automatically copyrighted with an open license. And that's not true, it is actually false. The, it's the other way around. When you create a piece of work, it is automatically copyrighted with full copyright, all rights reserved. It's the little C in the circle. Most copyright acts in the various countries around the world all say that by default, if you don't stipulate, then the default license is full copyright. All right, so that is not true. So it is false. And I can, I'm happy to say quite a few of you got that right. That's good. Uh, second to last one, uh, this CC0, what is that? All right, CC0, what is it equivalent to? Bit of a trick question. Uh, the answer is it's very similar. In fact, it's the same as public domain. It means no rights reserved. Okay, so it means you have you have surrendered all your rights. So if you go for CC0, it's the same as public domain. And finally, when you see this one, again, another trick question. Uh, what, is, uh, what is reserved? Which right is reserved? Okay, so in your tutorial, they use the dollar sign. But in this instance, they've used a different currency. They've used yen. So it still holds. It is non-commercial. It means you can do whatever you like with the resource, but you may not make a profit. All right. So I'm glad to see most of you got that. Cool. All right. And that is our little test. So now I have a look here and I can see which ones um, were causing trouble. Um, and you can see I'm not entirely convinced you all work through the materials because they're pretty they're not great those results all right you would have thought there'd be more in the 60s and 70s but we've got some 30s here 
And we've got two more thirties down here. So yeah, I'm wondering, did you guys, did all of you actually work through the tutorials? And I must say, um, just in case you didn't, all right, uh, please remember that there's no lectures here. So if you haven't gone through the tutorials, you've missed the main event, right? Those four tutorials are the learning. Okay, that's where all the goodies and the tricks and everything is in there. All right, there are no lectures, there are no handouts. You've got to go through the tutorial. So please, uh, if you um, haven't already, you need to catch up. You need to look at number one again. Well, you need to look at number one. Number one is kind of key. It kind of sets the scene and gives you all the background. Um, but tonight you're going to be looking at how to find OERs. All right, so let's just crash out of here. We have one more. Uh, let me just see. Uh, go back to summary. In the end, we had 20 people do it. And yeah, they say this is the most difficult questions. Only 24% of you got it right. All right, it's flagging some, <laughs> some people for me to go talk to. All right, so let's get out of here for now. Okay, and let's call up uh, tonight's work so you can see it. Okay, this is the link I posted um, yesterday. So hopefully you've still got access to this link. And here, um, the, here are the four tutorials. So hopefully now you've done tutorial number one. Oh, my camera's going. So uh, uh, tutorial number one. So now you've got to look at tutorial number two. So tonight you've got to look at that. I'm going to just turn my cam off um, because it's causing trouble. <laughs> Um, all right, um, so you've now got to say that, okay, so now you know what your Creative Commons licenses are, but where are these resources? So once you've found them and they've got these licenses, license plates on them, um, how do you know what you're allowed to do? So, uh, and that's the trick. So what we're going to have a look at tonight, I'll just go in very quickly and show you the structure of it. So um, first of all, we want you to make sure that you're not just searching at too high a level. So many teachers come in and they, they are searching for things like mathematics. Okay, that's really a bad search term. So just like Google works well, if you're very specific in your search terms, so OERs are the same. So you got to have very specific search terms. What are you looking for? So don't say even algebra. All right, so algebra is also too high. So you need to get down. So I don't know, um, exponential notations or something. Oh, I don't know. I'm not a maths person. But get down deep. So the example in here, you're going to see in a minute, is uh, energy and power. And then now we can find some very nice search terms. So even energy and power is a bit too high. You're definitely not searching for maths and science. You need to look for things like non-renewable energy sources. Okay, so you really specific terms. So I want you to look at that tonight. Um, and then we show you how to use Google in order to find it. We show you how to use Creative Commons Search in order to find these OERs. And we also show you how you can find uh, Creative Commons licensed videos on YouTube. All right, so if you want to start using copies of videos in your PowerPoint or on your um, USB sticks, then so on. It shows you how to find them on there. They are there. And then we want you to have a look at OER Commons. OER Commons is especially good for primary and secondary school teachers. And if you remember from our little survey yesterday, the vast majority of you fall into that camp. So we want you to find time tonight to work through and have a look at OER Commons. Uh, there's a couple of other ones here that you can also investigate. All right, so that's what you're going to be doing tonight. Um, and yeah, are you ready? So uh, let's have some questions now. Can you use your little hand? Uh, so uh, 
if you would now like to ask questions or tell me what you found difficult in the last few days, uh, last two days, then you can um, uh, go onto your name on the black panel and uh, mine looks different. You have another look at that. <laughs> Yesterday, you had to go to your panel and you had to um, say, put up your hand. And then uh, someone's already done it today. So there must be a way. So can you put your hand up or wave frantically on your video? Um, if you have a query, a question or a frustration that we need to address. All right, any questions, any queries? You can say nice things as well if you want. You can say, oh, yes, I enjoyed yesterday. Or, oh, no, I hated yesterday. You must tell me. Yes, Cengeto. I just wanted to say I enjoyed the test today. Yeah. I know I missed one or two questions, but uh, it was... Um, quite an eye opener yes um i hope uh we'll take the same momentum to the next exercise thank you all right nice in fact that's a free service it's nothing special in terms of subscriptions or money or anything so um you, you can use kahoot.com if you would like to uh, try out something similar with your students when you're teaching them remotely okay um the, there's a free version, which I use, and then you can pay more money. You can pay a subscription if you want to have all the other um, uh, services added in. But for me, for my purposes, I find the free version quite sufficient. All right. So if you want to try that out with your, uh, your students, go to kahoot.com. Here it is. Um, uh, you can create a little account. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Is it login? And then you can see, uh, or it recognizes me, remembers me. So it's let me in. Um, but then you can oh, okay. see all my, if I go to my library, these are all the cahoots I've made over the years, which I use regularly. That's the one you've just done there. Um, but there's another one. If you'd enjoyed it, there's another one, which we can do on Thursday. I don't know, um, up to you, you can tell me, but uh, they're very easy to make. <clears throat> they take, take you a few minutes. You can put pictures in, you can put video in, you can put um, uh, obviously the question and then what is the right answer? And there's a number of different ways you can actually do it. So for example, uh, if I was to do this one, I would go play and it says, how do you want to do it? So today you did this one, you did the assign where you went off and did it in your own time and then um, uploaded all the, all the questions and the answers came to me. Or you can do it this way. I've always done it this way previously. You, you were my guinea pigs. I've never done it that way. But in the other two groups, group one and two, a lot of people were struggling with flicking between the Zoom window and the Kahoot's questions. They were saying that on the phones, it's not so easy to flick from one application to the other. So I thought, well, let's just give you one. So if you crash out of the Zoom, it doesn't matter. You can do your test. Um, and that's why we did a sign today. But you can experiment. What works nicest for your, your students? So yeah, um, am I? do I get a kickback from Kahoot? No, <laughs> I just like them. So um, it works for me. But there are other ones you can try out as well. So if you want to try these things, there's another one called Quizzes. Dot com. Okay, so here's another one very similar. There's a free version also where you can uh, just create little tests and then hand them out via a link to your students. And another one that's uh, very good is called Socrative. All right, so um, 
uh, Socrative is very good if you want the if you want data. So for me, it was formative assessment. I just needed a suggestion about how which questions would be answered well and which ones were not. But if you want proper proper analytical data on all your students, then Socrative might be a better platform. It's very very good in terms of tracking what people have done, etc. All right, so I'm not endorsing any of them. Um, well, I am. I'm endorsing all three. But um, I, I, it's up to you. Try them out. See what works best for you. Okay, Tapiwa. I see your hand is up. Okay, actually, what I wanted to ask you, I've uh, talked about it. I wanted to ask you if I can use also games and quizzes yeah. uh, in teaching. So I think uh, I, I've seen the, I would try to search more. And also I just want to say, I really enjoyed the quiz session whereby we're using games. It was kind of fun, but we're learning. So it was a good uh, methodology. Cool. Thank you. Um, I see Abgirl is here. And I think uh, we should give Abgirl a, a round of applause. She came first in the test and she beat me. <laughs> <laughs> she got a higher score than me. Uh, so well done. That's, that's great. Really, really good. Uh, anyone else have a question or a query? I see there's some people in the chat. Let me just see what it says in the chat. Oh, I see Learn More is ready. Learn More, you, what, what, is, um, what is your view on things? All right. Uh, good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, I've got the problem for connectivity. Ah. I think if you can record the, um, the Zoom meeting so that maybe you can go through it when we have got time. I, I, I am recording. So um, no, uh, I'll put it up this evening like I did yesterday's one as well. So as soon as um, I've got okay, on. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Cool. Okay, thank you. Any other queries, questions? All right, may I have a look in the, I see Lermo's got his hand up again. Is that the old one or is that a new one? I see Cecilia says, learning new things. That's great. Um, so obviously also enjoying uh, trying to use technology. Um, what what Lermo said about the connectivity is, is an issue. All right, especially in Zimbabwe, um, where you your, your bandwidth is expensive and tenuous. Okay. Uh, we appreciate that. That's why UNESCO has tried to give you some data, and you. Uh, that's why we waited for you to make sure that it had been delivered. Um, but uh, the future will have an element of technology in it, so make sure that um, uh, you keep up to speed. Please persist. Uh, for example, uh, the final, the final assignment where you have to upload resources into the database both groups one and two have really struggled to get their stuff up but they persevered and now we've got over 75 resources in the database plus because there was already stuff in there so um um yeah i'm afraid you've just got to stick at it we need you to be um very tenacious we need you to persevere we need you to keep trying all right, you can't be passive. This this model doesn't really work that way. I see Titch is saying that uh, also really enjoyed the quiz. Which application did you use to create the quiz? All right, I'll put the link in the chat. And um, it is this one. And um, I'll also put it in the WhatsApp. Just so you guys can go and experiment. Am I in group three? Yes. Try that again. There we go. Um, all right. So that's the one I used. And then the other one that was quite nice was the quizzes one. So let me just, there it is. Let me also put the link in for you. There we go. And while we're at it, let's put Socrative in there as well. All right, so if you're doing little formative assessments, I can say those three works well. I know 
Kahoot has a free version, and I know Quizzes has a free version as well, which you can, which you can use. Cool. Um, right. Any other queries or questions? All right, then um, I've spent 45 minutes of your time this afternoon. So I'm going to say thank you very much. I'm glad most of you enjoyed the quiz. Um, and um, I will, when I get the recording, I'll get it up on YouTube and then share it uh, this evening on the WhatsApp group. So be ready for that. Um, uh, just as my last final word, please remember, you've got to do the tutorials. If you don't do the tutorials, then you're missing the main event. All right. Uh, so, and tonight is tutorial number two. I'm also going to, <laughs> uh, I'm just looking at all the rubbish on the screen. Um, I'm also going to give you that link. Sorry, give me a second. It's down here. And it's this one, number two. Right, I'm also putting that in the WhatsApp. That's tonight or tomorrow morning's homework. Uh, can you please be ready? Um, and we will look at that tomorrow. Good. Um, last check of all the goodies. Is something in the chat? Huh? Te Tepiwa is very appreciative. That's nice. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. And that's the end of today's session. You're free to go. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>